Hello everyone. Here we are going to learn another grammar subject. So you see positive and I'm going to teach this causative form in the form of past tense uh, because I thought this is easier um, to understand then we can go through other tenses for causative later. Uh, so we have transitive form, the verb, uh, plus the suffix of der, and if we have uh, the letters of fe, se, te, ke, he, she, he, he, at the end of the letter, the verb, uh, the letter B changes to T and uh, we have TER in its four different forms of uh, harmony of vowels. Plus, we are going to have conjugation here in four different forms, again related to the last suffix that we have here. Uh, I just wrote them with a sound. You know, it continues with other sounds, uh, other vowels. If you um, have watched different videos of Turkish, you see this harmony of vowels already. Okay, so let's go through the examples. I think with examples, you will learn it better. Yaptırdım, yaptırdım. So we have the verb, we have ter, and we have them. By the way, I have chosen all the first person, all the verbs in first person form. So uh, in order to practice, you can practice the last part according to uh, different um uh, conjugation suffixes and that will be your practice okay yapter them means i had it done if it was yaptım it was like i did it but here we have yapter them so i gave it to somebody else to do it yapter them here it means that the person has not done the job himself Bakterdim, bakterdim means I had someone to look at it. Actually, here we have uh, look at. Actually, bakmak means looking, but here it means like checking out, like checking something to see if it is okay. That is bakterdim. It can be medical. It can be for a repairment. Ettirdim. Ettirdim means I had it done. Again, we have here the verb yapmak, etmek. Both means doing. Kestirdim. Kestirdim. I had it cut. Temizlettirdim. Temizlettirdim. Here. We have, I had it cleaned. I had it cleaned. Hazırlatırdım. I had it prepared. Like making something ready at a special time. Hazırlatırdım. I had it prepared. Açtırdım. Açtırdım means I had it opened. Ayırtırdım. Ayırtırdım. I had it reserved. You can say that you have reserved, uh, you have booked a hotel or 
you have bought something from a shop and they have kept it for you away so you can receive it later. Yazdırdım. Yazdırdım means I had it written or printed. Çizdirdim. Çizdirdim means I had it drawn. Boyattırdım. Boyattırdım. I had it painted. Söylettirdim. Söylettirdim. The verb söylet means make somebody say something. So söylettirdim means that I told someone to say something instead of me. I had it said. I don't know how much of the English can actually match what I want to transfer the meaning. But anyway, this is what I wrote here. Yıktırdım. Yıktırdım. I had it destroyed. I had it destroyed. Yaktırdım. Yaktırdım. It means I had it burned. Yıkattırdım. Yıkattırdım means I had it washed. Çözdürdüm. Çözdürdüm. It means I had it solved. Bu duvarı yaptırdım. Okay, here we have sentences as examples. Bu duvarı yaptırdım means I had the wall made. Like I gave someone to make the wall. Arabayı baktırdım. I had this car checked. It controlled if there's something wrong or not. Dolabı tamir ettirdim. Dolabı tamir ettirdim. I had the cupboard repaired. Yeni kıyafet diktirdim. Yeni kıyafet diktirdim. I had a new dress. Made, diktirdim, means sewing. Evi boyattırdım, evi boyattırdım. I had the house painted. Saçlarımı kestirdim, saçlarımı kestirdim. I had my hair cut. Cildime bakım yaptırdım. Cildime bakım yaptırdım. I had some health care on my skin. Bakım means health care. Okay guys, I hope this video was uh, quite helpful for you. If you have any questions, you can write in the comments below. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so um, because I don't put videos regularly and, uh, and you need to be notified. You need to receive notifications that when my videos are uploaded, uh, it's not on regular uh, time, uh, it's not on regular basis. So... You need to be notified if you think these videos are really helpful for you. Don't miss them. And uh, at any time of the day, I'm online and you can ask any questions about the video. If you need any topics to come um, earlier and other topics, other grammar topics, please let me know. And um, please practice in this video. I had the first person 
education and you can turn them to all of the um, subject contributions and that will really be helpful okay have a nice day good luck